so my educational giant is William James, and I will be speaking on him today. <clears throat> William James had an incredible impact on education, teachers, and the field of psychology. He was born in New York City, New York on January 11, 1842. He was the oldest of five children. His mother was an avid churchgoer, and his father, being a well-educated man himself, made it his firm determination to make sure that his children received the best possible education. At a young age, William and his family moved to Europe, where they would constantly travel while achieving a transatlantic education. William was fully immersed into art. He, along with his siblings, were taught by the best tutors the state of New York and Europe could offer. His home was stable and a place where study could be accomplished easily. He became fluent in both the French and German language. William's younger sibling, Henry, became a well-known novelist, and one of their younger sisters was recognized for her posthumous diary. While his brother and sister continued to write, William desired to become an artist. In his early learning, William decided, um, decided to study and be a painter in Newport, Rhode Island, and it was even an apprentice under William Morris Hunt. Losing interest in painting, William continued his education, but in the scientific field. In 1861, James studied science at the Lawrence Scientific School. It was not long after his work there that he switched to medicine. In 1864, he studied at the Harvard University Medical School. After being submerged into medicine, William took a break and went on an excursion with Louis Agassiz on an expedition to the Amazon. Sadly, after only eight months in, he had to leave to Germany to have um, some health problems solved. He returned many times to Germany throughout his life due to physical health issues and severe depression. William received his medical degree from Harvard but became disinterested and never practiced the degree that he had gained. In 1878, William married Alice Howe Gibbons. They had five children together but lost their third child, Herman, to whooping cough at only age two. William James impacted education in multiple ways throughout his lifetime. He helped bring about the idea and concept of psychology to the U.S., established the first psychological laboratory, and taught the first psychology course at Harvard. He believed that the mind and behavior of a person was determined by the outer experiences and environment that the person had. He was a behaviorist and focused on the individual and their experiences. His ideas and be of behavior grew to be involved in psychoanalysis and the redu reductionistic orientation of behaviorism. <clears throat> Excuse me. He wrote many works in 1880. He wrote a book on the emerging field of psychology, spent 10 years writing on one of the first aspects of the principles of psychology. In 1902, he wrote The Varieties of Religious Experience. In 1907, he also wrote and published Pragmatism. In 1909, his final written work was published, A Pluralistic Universe. From the brain to the religious eye, William knew it all. It was his passion. He was quite intelligent in that area and subject and could defend both styles with swift rhetoric and knowledge of each argument. He was open-minded to any theory. He was passionate in studying um, foundational parts of thought to the point of being able to understand and explain each side. He taught at Harvard University for 35 years and had a great and powerful impact on his students. Many became teachers and professors themselves. Some of his students included Mary Witten Calkins, Edward Thorndike, G. Stanley Hall, and John Dewey. With much experience as a teacher and professor, William James spoke to teachers and gave them his input on the matter. He said, quote, You make a great, very great mistake if you think that psychology, being the science of the mind's laws, is something from which you can deduce definite programs and schemes and methods of instruction for immediate schooling use. Psychology is a science, and teaching is an art. And sciences never generate arts directly out of themselves. Close quote. When evolving psychology to the art of teaching, Williams said, the stream of consciousness has two functions. First, it leads to knowledge. Second, it leads to action. William also stated the following, quote, Man, whatever else he may be, is primarily a practical being, whose mind is given him to aid in adapting him to his world's life. Close quote. To William, education was crucial. He said and believed that, quote, education is the organization of acquired habits of conduct and tendencies to behavior. Close quote. He loved psychology, behavior, education, and being an educator. He impacted many lives. William passed away from a heart condition on August 26, 1910. 
Although it is over a century since his passing, his ideas and theories are still studied today.